I am Dr. S. Baby Mochurakini, Assistant Professor of Commerce from St. Joseph College of Arts and Science, Autonomous Karalur. In this video, we are going to see about plant layout and what are the steps of good plant layout, what are the characteristics of a plant layout. So, let us see one by one. So, first one, what is mean by plant layout? Once a suitable location of the plant has been decided upon, the next important issue is the design of the layout. Plant layout is the plan for arranging the physical facilities and manpower required to manufacture a product with the objectives of utilizing them in an effective manner. So plant layout is the overall arrangements of a production process, storeroom, stock room, tool room, material handling equipment, employee services and all other accessories required for facilitations of the production in the factory. The primary objectives of a plant layout is to minimize the movement of a men and materials in the plant. And next let us see about what are the steps involved in designing a plant layout? Under this, the following are the steps involved in designing a plant layout. So the first step, collection of a required data. Data about the size of a plant, types of a product to be produced, method of production to be adopted, extent of space available and extent of me mechanizations that should be collected clearly and second point preparation of blueprint for the floor plan based on the data collections a blueprint has to be prepared for the floor plan more and more care should be taken to ensure that the layout provides for unhindered movement of men and materials with minimum possible effort and time. And third one is preparation of process chart and flow diagram. Under this, the process chart and flow diagram departing the various activities to be performed and the linkages between them has to be prepared. Our next one is preparation of a draft layout. A draft layout need to be prepared clearly and positioning of a men, materials and the process of flow chart. The draft layout should be circulated and discussion held with the employees inviting the suggestions for the improvement of a layout. Flows pointed out need to be corrected and suggestions received incorporated after due discussions. And next point, it's a test run. So after collection of all the datas, they have to test it over that. This is very, very important to understand the efficiency of a layout in a real-time work environment. Problems not noticed in the earlier stages, they can occur at this stage. The initial problem noticed and they have to be modified and test runs should be continued for at least few times to ensure that the layout is able to facilitate maximum production at minimum cost. Our next one is characteristics or features of a good layout. Under this, there are some characteristics is there. So before that, we can see that about the layout, how they are handling the men and materials, how they are smoothly operated all the process activities. The layout should be designed in a manner that the twin objectives of improving efficiency 
and reduction of a cost are achieved. It should be minimum movement of man and machines. Smooth operations of a manufacturing process should be facilitated and work in progress inventory reduced. So the layout with the following characteristics would be able to fulfill which is above mentioned requirements. So we are going to see about one by one. So the first one efficient space utilizations. An ideal layout should be utilized the available space in an effective way. Wastage of space should be avoided at all the cost. The arrangements of equipment, service points and workers should be done in such a way. The space should be properly utilized in each and every department. And second point, flexibility. Manufacturing operations are dynamic in nature. That is continuous innovations in type of product, products manufactured as well as in equipment, techniques and process of productions. So therefore, the layout should be designed in a such a way with a flexible manner with enough to adapt to changes and a good layout should be designed in a such a way that modification would be rapidly take place to meet changing circumstances and that should be devised with the possible future need of our operation in mind. Our next one is accessibility. Manufacturing, maintenance and service facility should be easily accessible without any hindrance. To achieve this purpose, there must be sufficient space between equipment so that only the raw materials, machines and men are able to move freely from one place to another. And next one is economy in handling. The layout should facilitate economy in handling materials, work in progress and finished stock. Handling should be reduced by the optimal use of truck lifts, conveyors, etc. And next one is minimum movement. It's nothing but all movements taking place within the plant should be both necessary and direct. Handling work does add the cost but doesn't increase the value. Thus any unnecessary movement should be avoided and if present eliminated. It is the best not to handle the material and the information. However, if it is necessary, it should be reduced to a minimum by making use of appropriate device. And next one is ensuring coordination. The layout should be designed in a such a way that uh, entry into and disposal from any department or functional areas should be carried out in the most convenient way to the issuing and receiving departments. And next, visibility. All the workers and materials should be really observable at all times that, and that there, is, uh, there should be no hidden place into which goods or uh, informations get misplaced and forgotten. So organizations should be careful when they make use of screening as they may introduce undesirable segregations which reduce the effective use of floor space. So work should be arranged in such a way that there is no problem in supervision, coordination and control. So raw material, work in progress, finished goods should be should have specific, uh, specific storage points and must be visible at all the times. Then only you can reduce the problem of a theft. Our next one, reduced discomfort. The layout should be designed in a way that there is minimum discomfort to the workers. It should be provided for proper lightning facilities, ventilation, and reduce the impact of heat, noise, vibration, dust, ados, etc. 
next one is adherence to statutory regulations the layout should adhere to the regulations of a factories act with regard to health safety and welfare of employees then only they have to minimize the accidents and reduce the absenteeism due to sickness contributing to improved productivity and next this is a last point preservation of materials and equipment the layout should contain safeguard against fire moisture theft and general disorders of equipment and material this should be adequate and safe storage of locations there should be no provisions for storing in flammable materials separately and in a safe manner thank you